wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be. I'll be home. Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new video. You may notice that we have a new backdrop today and that is because things are starting to get a little bit festive around here. I thought the time has come. I can't hold out any longer. We're going to start doing some Christmassy videos. We're not quite into Christmas with Mr. Carrington. That is on the way and that is going to be starting for you at the beginning of December when the tree will be going up. But in the meantime, I thought we would crack on and do some Poundland hampers today. So I've been down to Poundland and I've picked up lots of different things that I think we can put together to create some really thoughtful and really nice hampers for lots of different people that may be in your life. And they're all under a tenner. I think the cheapest one could probably cost you around two pounds and we've got quite the variety today as well so hopefully there'll be something in this video to inspire you to give you some ideas and also you can split up a lot of the items that I'm going to be showing you so you can give them as individual presents you could also use some of these to add to maybe a larger present just to make it a little bit more personal or a little bit more thoughtful so before we get into the video quick sip of the coffee I've got it, we're going back to 2017 in a mug from Christmas past. I actually got it down the charity shop. I think this was 50p or one pound. Delighted with it, Starbucks mug, red cups are out. Are they out yet? I don't think they are. Are they? I can't remember. And let me know in the comments, have you put your tree up yet? I know a lot of people are starting to put their Christmas trees up early this year because a lot of us are stuck indoors. So why not have something twinkling away in the corner to look at? I've now got an area of the living room that's twinkling away, which I am very pleased with. Let me know what you think. Should we make this the backdrop for Christmas with Mr. Carrington this year? So we'll have the tree up soon in the corner as well. But yeah, I'm quite liking this just to do my crafts and my DIYs and have a little chat. Could do my haul videos on here. What are we thinking? Anyway, I am rambling now. Quick sip of the tea. Weren't expecting that, were you? We're filming in the evening, so I'm laying off the coffee and we'll get straight into the video. But if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I'd love that. And do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the Poundland Christmas hampers. Right, let's get into the first one. We'll start with one of my favourites. What are we thinking? <laughs> so, um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see, I'll pop a little close up in. We have a range of Land of Nod products in this one. So I'm thinking this is a really good one for somebody that you might know who's been having trouble sleeping. A lot of us have been having trouble with our sleep this year. I've been having some bonkers dreams, that's for sure. Dreams that sometimes feature characters like this. <laughs> so this is one of the gonks um, that you can pick up in Poundland as well. These are three pounds each. And I just spied this pink one. And I thought it would go quite nicely with the colour of the packaging in here because you've got like the pinks and the purples going on. And then we've got in here a bath bar, we've got bath salts, we've got essential oils, we've got pillow spray, shower gel and bath powder. Now you don't need to buy all of these. I think there's even a couple more things in this range if you really wanted to fill this out. And the hamper itself was from Poundland, actually from earlier in the year. I think this was part of their Father's Day range, but... I hung on to it and of course you may have baskets lying around, you might have containers, cardboard boxes that you can put some wrapping paper around, anything to pop everything in, get some shredded paper in there or some tissue, anything that you've got just to bulk it out a little bit and then yeah, you are um, going to end up with a really nice little hamper that's going to give somebody who's been having maybe a bit of a stressful time a really relaxing evening or maybe somebody that travels, I know obviously we're not travelling a lot at the moment but I always appreciate little things like this when I'm staying away from home, so if I'm staying like in a hotel, a bit of this essential oil and pillow spray would be great. So I've also included in here a little eye mask um, that's just tucked underneath. So you could add an eye mask. Maybe you could find one in Poundland. I didn't see any in store at the time of picking these up, but there's probably some in store. Or you could just um, add one. Maybe add one from the airplane <laughs> if you've been on a flight lately. <laughs> you want to be a cheapskate? That's what I always do. I always save the um, eye masks. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this one. So yeah, let me know what you think of that. Now next up we have one that I think would be great for somebody who loves Lush products or bath bombs or baths and that sort of thing. So I've actually packaged this one in this cardboard box. They had loads of different designs of these in store and I thought this is very similar to the gift boxes that you do get in Lush that normally just have a ribbon tied around and a little tag on the top. So you could add that yourself. You can also pick up some of this sort of twine in store as well. And into here, 
I have added a few different bath products that again are very similar to the Lush design. So we've got a snowflake fizzer. We also have, smells good. You know when you open the box of bath bombs and you smell it? We're getting that, so that's nice. <laughs> Whoever's gonna open this is gonna get a nice waft of a nice bath. We also have a bath fizzer. It just says relaxing spa fragrance. Smells good. And we also have um, some bath salts as well. So yeah, I just thought you can pack out this box with whatever you like. You could maybe take the bath bombs out of their wrappers and put them on top of some shredded paper and that sort of thing. Or just choose a few from this um, bath fragrance range, pop them all into the box so that they fit and you're good to go. So this one totals four pounds, which I think it's really good. I've got one for you that potentially could be two pounds or three pounds if you buy the box. So again, really nice box that I picked up in store. It just says ho 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 on it. I don't know why I did that voice. I apologize. <laughs> but um, inside here, it fits a DVD perfectly. So I had a little browse on the DVD shelf and I managed to pick up this classic. We've got Elf. It's a replay one, so they're reduced to one pounds. I think it means, yeah, Pre-owned, fully refurbished. We'll take that little sticker off before we give this as a present. That should come off. But into here, I have stuffed a multi-pack of popcorn. So that just bulks it out and makes that into a nice little Christmas movie gift box. So three pounds in total. Or if you make your own box, maybe you've got some wrapping paper lying around and you have a box, it's gonna be two quid, which I think is a really nice little present. Somebody who loves Christmas films, that'll be good to go. And you get five snack packs of the popcorn in here. You could empty out the popcorn, I guess, and maybe pop it into there. You could also get one of the popcorn tubs that they have in store, pop some of the popcorn into it, maybe a bag of sweets, stand this up, little ribbon around the top. And that'd be a similar sort of thing. You've got like the novelty of having the popcorn bucket as well. Okay, so next up, I haven't quite finished this one off. I'm just gonna snip the tags off because I don't think they're a vibe when we're doing hampers. So we'll get rid of those. They immediately cheapen it, don't they? <laughs> and what we're going to do with this one is probably pop a ribbon onto it. But I'm just going to show you for now how I've arranged this one. So this is for your cleaning lover. If you're a lover of cleaning like myself, I really find cleaning very therapeutic at the moment. Sort of thing that I like doing when everything goes a little bit out of control sometimes, doesn't it? But you have a good clean, chill out while you're cleaning. Don't really think about anything apart from the cleaning, which is great. And I put together this one. So we've got this very glam, dustpan and brush as the kind of base or the container and then I thought we'll pop in a couple of Zoflora's. I spied some limited edition ones in store so if you do know somebody who loves their Zoflora maybe look out for the limited edition ones because they might not have them. So we've got Paradise Peach and Pink Grapefruit and I just thought let's add that because it looks fun <laughs> and it kind of goes with the dustpan and we're going to pop a ribbon around that and maybe one of these wooden snowflakes and that is a thing of joy or you're gonna really offend somebody because they're gonna be saying, why have you bought me stuff to clean with? It's supposed to be Christmas and cleaning is my idea of hell. But if someone like me, they'll absolutely love it. So yeah, tread carefully with this one. Or if you're looking to drop somebody a hint, maybe you've got a partner that doesn't know what the C word is, <laughs> and I mean cleaning by that, um, then <laughs> you could get that for them and it might just be a little bit of fun. So there we are, one, two, uh, four pounds for that one and then maybe a little bit of ribbon as well and if you're like me you probably save ribbons you might have some knocking about that you can just tie it all up with um so next up what have we got next i've got no idea let's have a little look under the table oh this is a good one i need to finish this one as well so this one is for somebody who likes a little tipple and what i thought we would do it's very simple i spied these jugs in store I know that these were really popular around the summertime and I've seen that they have come back into Poundland stores recently. So get one of these jugs. You could also add the glasses that go with it and maybe put it into like a second hand charity shop, picnic basket, picnic camper, that sort of thing. And then yeah, pad it all out, display these, maybe pop a couple of lemons in there and then a bottle. In this case, I've got a bottle of rum. And just to make it a little bit more interesting, I thought we would take some paper straws, which you can get in store. You get, I think 20 in a pack or 10. So I'm just gonna use four and I'm gonna tape these together. And then we're just going to attach them onto the handle. And I thought we'd just tie on a couple of dried oranges and it's just gonna give it a little festive touch. <laughs> I mean, you can't be going around giving presents at this time of year without a festive touch on them. I'm just saying. So this is the festive touch that this one is having. It is having dried oranges and paper straws. And this immediately 
is upping the game. We're not just giving somebody a bottle of rum anymore. This is making it special. So you could add some ribbon there, you could put on one of these little wooden snowflakes that you can get in Poundland, anything you like. Just tie something on the handle to attach your straws on there. And then we have a nice drink in a jug. And you could pop that into a box or just give it, as it is, just turn up at someone's house like a very merry carol singer clutching this. <laughs> okay, this next one is for somebody who has a sweet tooth or somebody that maybe enjoys reminiscing. So I've actually picked out some sweets that I thought were a bit of a throwback. We've got some Werther's Original Butter Candies. Who remembers the adverts of these? We've also got some Swizzlers, and it says super value, you get loads in there. You've got drumsticks, you've got fizzers, you've got love hearts, you've got Palmer Violets. Do you like a Palmer Violet? Let me know. And we've also got Comfits which are licorice and I thought again, felt very old school. I felt like I bought some other sweets. Oh, I bought some fries Turkish Delight as well, which I thought was old school, but I ate it last night, which was awful. Meant to be in the video, but um, it's not. Now this is actually an upcycle because I've used this already, hence the hole in the top. I made a lamp in a previous Poundland DIY, but things get reused around here. So um, what we're gonna do, It's a very technical one. You just open the packet and pour the sweets in. And if you do your sweets in different layers, you can create like a nice design going on. So you can start with maybe some coloured ones, go to some gold ones, or maybe just pick out ones that are just like white gold or white silver, whatever it is that floats your boat. And then all you need to do, in fact, let's just pause and have a fizzle right now. I feel like that's important. Have you ever put one of these in Prosecco? Pop one in someone's Prosecco next time you're at a dinner party. <laughs> or don't. But if you do, let me know how you get on with that. You can, then to your lid, your lid may not have a hole in it, but it actually doesn't matter that mine's got a hole in it, because I'm gonna thread through this, which is a personalized decoration. So I spied this in store, and you can write on there the name of whoever you're giving your sweet jar to. So we just attach that with a bit of glue, I'm actually just going to stick it, get your pen out, and then, yeah, personalised sweet jar. So one pound for the jar, one pound for the personalised touch on the top. You could just cut up some old card from some packaging, or if you get sent Christmas cards, you could reuse a Christmas card, just be careful you don't <laughs> give it back to the person that sent it to you. And yeah, make yourself a little gift tag on a ribbon if you wanted to not spend the extra pound. And then one pound for the jar, again, you could just get a jam jar or a large jar that you've maybe had some pickled onions in. Get the label off with some soapy water and you'll be good to go. And then we just fill it up with the sweets. So it was three pounds, so fiver for this, but I think you could probably do this for three quid if you use your own jam jar and just tie on a bit of scrap, somebody else's old Christmas card that you don't like. <laughs> and for a really quick and easy one, all you need to do is just hang this on the neck of a bottle. So you could just take your bottle of wine or spirit or whatever it is and just hang that on, personalize it up a little bit easy peasy. Or you could take a box, so I've just stuffed this one out with some shredded paper and then add to it your bottle of choice. So I've got a mini bottle of Prosecco here. And then in store I spied some of these Sip Sip Hooray sparkling wine flavoured gummies. So immediately that just makes the present a little bit more personalised and you can pop in your personalisation in there as well. So one, two, three pounds, and then whatever your chosen bottle's going to be on top of that. Okay, next up we have one for a lover of a g and So I've put this one together in this red hamper that I picked up in store, so these are in store at the moment. And then what I've done is added a gin and tonic candle, again, which I picked up in store. And I also spied in the sweet section these Bombs of London, Let the Good Times Be Gin, Rhubarb Gin flavoured gummies. And then what I've done is just popped in a miniature bottle of gin and a can of tonic into one of these gin glasses. They also sell these in Pound and but I actually have one already, so I'm just using what I've got here to demonstrate for you. But again, a really nice, thoughtful gift for somebody who likes a G&T. And this one costs one, two, three, we'll call it four pounds if you buy the glass in Poundland, and then however much you wanna spend on a miniature bottle of gin and tonic. They also had a Cosmopolitan candle as well, so you could do a similar thing with that, and then maybe just include like a tin of Cosmo. You know, you can get the ones from M&S. 
and then maybe just like a nice glass as well, similar kind of vibe. I thought we'd do one for a guy that maybe you're really stuck as to what to get for them, but I thought, who doesn't love a hanging basket in their life? So we're gonna use that as the hamper itself. I'm not sure if these are actually in store anymore. Um, I had this leftover from the summer, but you might have one knocking about. And then I thought into this, you could add some different gardening things. However, we're gonna go random. So we're gonna do a Christmas hat, because who doesn't love <laughs> a Christmas hat in their life? when it's Christmas time. So we'll pop that in there so they can wear that down the pub. And then with that in mind, we've got a half lager pint glass, which I just think is a really fun gift. So it's a pint glass that's essentially chopped in half. So you can have your half pint of lager like that. And I just thought that would give you a little bit of fun if you were all having a drink together. Then also gloves as well, but they've got loads of like little gadgety bits and things like that that you could add into here as well. This one's quite random, isn't it? I think I might have failed with this one. I think maybe the theme's not quite working because we've gone gardening and then random. I think maybe it'd be better to maybe buy one of the stockings in store and just pop a few of these little um, gifts inside that way or just pop it all into the Santa hat or if you do want to do the hanging basket then maybe just go full gardening theme and pop some maybe some seeds and some bulbs in there for the spring and then the last one that I've got to show you I haven't actually put this in a container because I thought this might be quite a good one if you want to pop something into a jiffy bag to send somebody overseas or somebody that you just want to post a little gift to and that is to do a calendar and diary combo like this so they pack nice and flat and then you could just send them yeah calendar in a diary and maybe if you've got something nice coming up in the year you could maybe pop your tickets in and mark it on the date that might be quite a nice thoughtful idea so if you've got like a concert or theatre tickets who knows what's going on next year but if you have got anything planned then maybe you could mark it on the diary or on the calendar and make sure that somehow they know to find it or yeah you know what I'm saying, <laughs> just a thought. And you could also add like some nice pens or their stationary lover, add that as well. You could of course just do a full stationary hamper as well. I just thought it'd be nice to show you one that packs up nice and flat that's easy to send to a relative or a friend that you're not gonna be seeing this year. If I come up with any more, I'll post them over on Mr. Carrington Home on Instagram. So I'll share some more of them over there and also snap them and share them over there as well so you can see them in a bit more detail. But yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which of the hampers was your favorite and let me know if you'll be making any of these yourself and if you've got any ideas for hampers that you can do from items in Poundland or the bargain stores, I'd love to hear your ideas as well. Let me know in the comments what Christmas videos you would like to see this year. I've been busy planning Christmas with Mr. Carrington, but as usual, I'm completely unprepared. It's all gonna be lastminute.com and it's gonna be a complete nuts shambles, but I will do my best <laughs> to bring you videos on as many days as I can, because um, I've got a very busy December coming up, but I will film as many videos as I can um, to hopefully get us all into the festive spirits. I feel like we all really need it this year. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram. It's Mr. Carrington and Mr. Carrington Home. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. And also you could split up a lot of the items that I'm going to be... <coughs> Hi. Sorry if you can hear beeping. I think... I don't know what that beeping is. It's outside. I just had to restart you because we were running out of time. I don't know why I'm envisaging this damn pub. I think I'm missing it. <laughs> yeah. For now, just to um, demonstrate. And then, oh, that didn't work, did it? Or if you've been flying anywhere recently, or oh, hello. <laughs> just nick one off the aeroplane. <laughs> oh man. The thing is, you get trapped in here. I need a pair of scissors. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing